Number 8. San Francisco. Good day everyone. I am John. This is my video about the journey around USA in summer 2022. Please kindly support as you can subscribe my new channel. Now let go to see top 8 places I have visited around the United States. Thank you guys and have a good day to you. There's no denying that, at least in the 21st century, San Francisco is often thought of as the technology hub of America. And it's perfectly true that this city, which is home to Apple, Facebook, Google, Uber, and countless other technology platforms that impact our daily lives, is synonymous with big tech. However, San Francisco is home to revelatory architecture. The first established LGBTQ plus neighborhood in the country, and Michelin star dining, all of which are crucial components of San Francisco's legacy. When in San Francisco, do as the Northern Californians do. Dress in layers, because the weather is constantly changing, and the fog, whose name, by the way, is Carl, often rolls in with little warning. Spend an afternoon lounging in a public park, taking advantage of San Francisco's seemingly endless green space. Take the bar, i.e., the metro, to dinner in the Mission. Hike along the Pacific Ocean, or at least stroll on Ocean Beach at sunset. And if someone offers to let you test their app in beta, you've officially made it as a local. Golden Gate Bridge The 1.7-mile-long Golden Gate Bridge, an icon of the San Francisco Bay region, connects the city of San Francisco to Marin County, California. At its completion in 1937, the suspension bridge was considered an engineering marvel, the longest main suspension bridge span in the world. Why is the San Francisco Bridge famous? Upon its completion in 1937, it was the tallest and longest suspension bridge in the world. The Golden Gate Bridge came to be recognized as a symbol of the power and progress of the United States, and it set a precedent for suspension bridge design around the world. Alcatraz Island Alcatraz Island is a small island in San Francisco Bay, 1.25 miles, 2.01 kilometers, offshore from San Francisco, California, United States. The island was developed in the mid-19th century with facilities for a lighthouse, a military fortification, and a military prison. In 1934, the island was converted into a federal prison, Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary. The strong currents around the island and cold water temperatures made escape nearly impossible, and the prison became one of the most notorious in American history. The prison closed in 1963, and the island is now a major tourist attraction. Lombard Street. As one of San Francisco's most popular streets, Lombard Street is made famous by its winding, sharp curves, giving it its nickname of the most crooked street in America. Because of its unique layout, beautiful landscaping, and city views, Lombard Street is one of the most photographed places in the San Francisco Bay Area. Chinatown. San Francisco Chinatown is the largest Chinatown outside of Asia as well as the oldest Chinatown in North America. It is one of the top tourist attractions in San Francisco. You can use this site to learn more about the attractions, culture. This is one of the oldest and most established Chinatowns in the US. Beyond iconic Dragon's Gate, a bustling maze of streets and alleys brims with dim sum joints and other traditional eateries. Also found are herbalists, bakeries, souvenir shops, and dark cocktail lounges and karaoke bars. There are ornate temples, including the landmark Tianhao, as well as the Chinese Historical Society of America Museum. Fisherman's Wharf Fisherman's Wharf is a neighborhood and popular tourist attraction in San Francisco, California. San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf gets its name and neighborhood characteristics from the city's early days of the mid to later 1800s when Italian immigrant fishermen came to the city to take advantage of the influx of population due to the gold rush. 
Most of the Italian immigrant fishermen settled in the North Beach area close to the wharf and fished for the local delicacies and Dungeness crab. From then until the present day the wharf remained the center of operations for San Francisco's fishing fleet. Despite its redevelopment into a tourist attraction during the 1970s and 1980s, the area is still home to many active fishermen and their fleets. It roughly encompasses the northern waterfront area of San Francisco from Ghirardelli Square or Van Ness Avenue east to Pier 35 or Kearney Street. The F Market streetcar runs through the area, the Powell Hyde Cable Car Line runs to Aquatic Park, at the edge of Fisherman's Wharf, and the Powell Mason Cable Car Line runs a few blocks away. Fisherman's Wharf, on the northern waterfront, is one of the city's busiest tourist areas. Souvenir shops and stalls selling crab and clam chowder and sourdough bread bowls appear at every turn, as do postcard views of the bay. Number 7. Las Vegas. Hello, welcome back to my video. Now I will show you about the Las Vegas, this city is the largest city in the state of Nevada. It is located in Clark County in southern Nevada. Geographically, it sits in a basin within the Mojave Desert and as such the area surrounding Las Vegas is dominated by desert vegetation and it is surrounded by dry mountain ranges. The average elevation of Las Vegas is 2,030 feet, 620 meters. Also the 28th most populous city in the U.S. with a city population of 567,641, as of 2009. Las Vegas is known around the world for its resorts, gambling, shopping and dining and it calls itself the entertainment capital of the world. The climate of Las Vegas is an arid desert with hot, mostly dry summers and mild winters. It has an average of 300 sunny days per year and averages about 4.2 inches of rainfall per year. Because it is in a desert basin, However, flash flooding is a concern when precipitation occurs. Snow is rare, but not impossible. Las Vegas is considered one of the fastest growing areas in the U.S. and recently it has become a popular destination for retirees and families. Most of the new residents of Las Vegas originate from California. Main sectors of the economy of Las Vegas are within tourism, gaming, and conventions. These have also caused the related service sectors of the economy to grow. Las Vegas is home to two of the world's largest Fortune 500 companies, MGM Mirage and Harris Entertainment. It also has several companies involved in the manufacturing of slot machines. Away from downtown in the Strip, residential growth in Las Vegas is rapidly occurring, so construction is also a major sector of the economy. Hi everyone, it is me, John. Now I had just arrived Las Vegas at 11.pm. On the way to have super before check in the Fremont Hotel, located in downtown, as you can see in the video, I record street views from my car. Here this is my super. Roasted and fishes soup.
Wake up in the morning, I have my coffee cup with hotel window view. I took picture of the beggar on street. Dot morning, I go to Sam Club to buy some stuff. Grand Canal, the Venetian Resort. The view is designed look like Venice in Italy. What a romantic view. Catch up the funny picture with a status within fart now loading. Please wait. Do you like eye cream? What flavor do you want? Casino in Las Vegas, crowded and cool.
What can you see now? Yes, cosplay female police. At first time, I misunderstand that they are real police and amazing uniform but no, police is fake. Those females are just for cosplay taking pictures and you will have to pay for taking photo with them. And this is my evening meal, it is wanton noodle soup. Thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope you enjoy and get useful information from my channel. If you like my video, please press subscribe and like my channel for support me. I am John from channel, Travel Around USA June 2022. Thank you you guys and have a good day to you. End of day 1 in Las Vegas. In summary, today I visited Sam Club Market, Casino Resort Venice style and enjoy ice cream, noodle soup and be surprised by cosplay police. Have a good day you guys. I will be back in shortly. Goodbye. Day 2 in Las Vegas. Welcome back. Today I go to visit Hoover Dam and Lake Mead. Hoover Dam. It is a concrete arch gravity dam in the Black Canyon of the Colorado River, on the border between the United States of Nevada and Arizona. It was constructed between 1931 and 1936 during the Great Depression and was dedicated on September 30, 1935, by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Its construction was the result of a massive effort involving thousands of workers, and cost over 100 lives. It was referred to as Hoover Dam after President Herbert Hoover in bills passed by Congress during its construction. It was named Boulder Dam by the Roosevelt administration. The Hoover Dam name was restored by Congress in 1947. Since about 1900, the Black Canyon and nearby Boulder Canyon had been investigated for their potential to support a dam that would control floods, provide irrigation water, and produce hydroelectric power.
In 1928, Congress authorized the project. The winning bid to build the dam was submitted by a consortium named Six Companies which began construction of the dam in early 1931. Such a large concrete structure had never been built before, and some of the techniques were unproven. The torrid summer weather and lack of facilities near the site also presented difficulties. Nevertheless, six companies turned the dam over to the federal government on March 1, 1936, more than two years ahead of schedule. Hoover Dam impounds Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States by volume when full. The dam is located near Boulder City, Nevada, a municipality originally constructed for workers on the construction project, about 30 miles, 48 kilometers, southeast of Las Vegas, Nevada. The dam's generators provide power for public and private utilities in Nevada, Arizona, and California. Hoover Dam is a major tourist attraction, with 7 million tourists a year. The heavily traveled US Route 93, US 93, ran along the dam's crest until October 2010, when the Hoover Dam bypass opened.
The Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge. This is an arch bridge in the United States that spans the Colorado River between the states of Arizona and Nevada. The bridge is located within the Lake Mead National Recreation Area approximately 30 miles, 48 kilometers, southeast of Las Vegas, and carries Interstate 11 and U.S. Route 93 over the Colorado River. Opened in 2010, it was the key component of the Hoover Dam Bypass Project, which rerouted US-93 from its previous routing along the top of Hoover Dam and removed several hairpin turns and blind curves from the route. It is jointly named for Michael Callahan, Governor of Nevada from 1971 to 1979, and Pat Tillman, an American football player who left his career with the Arizona Cardinals to enlist in the United States Army and was killed in Afghanistan in 2004 by friendly fire. As early as the 1960s, officials identified the US-93 route over Hoover Dam to be dangerous and inadequate for projected traffic volumes. From 1998 to 2001, officials from Arizona, Nevada, and several federal government agencies collaborated to determine the best routing for an alternative river crossing. In March 2001, the Federal Highway Administration selected the route, which crosses the Colorado River approximately 1,500 feet. 460 meters, downstream of Hoover Dam. Construction of the bridge approaches began in 2003, and construction of the bridge itself began in February 2005. The bridge was completed in 2010 and the entire bypass route opened to vehicle traffic on October 19, 2010. The Hoover Dam bypass project was completed within budget at a cost of $240 million, the bridge portion cost $114 million. The bridge was the first concrete steel composite deck arch bridge built in the United States, and incorporates the widest concrete arch in the Western Hemisphere. At 890 feet, 270 meters, above the Colorado River, it is the second highest bridge in the United States after the Royal Gorge Bridge near Cannon City, Colorado, and is the world's highest concrete arch bridge.
Lake Mead. This is a reservoir formed by the Hoover Dam on the Colorado River in the southwestern United States. It is located in the states of Nevada and Arizona, 24 miles, 39 kilometers, east of Las Vegas. It is the largest reservoir in the U.S. in terms of water capacity. You can see a lot of fishes and ducks in this lake. Water is clean. There are many boats for sightseeing service. Lake Mead provides water to the states of Arizona, California, and Nevada as well as some of Mexico, providing sustenance to nearly 20 million people in large areas of farmland.
Now I am going back the hotel after visit Hoover Dam in Lake Mead. On the way coming back, I suddenly see many polices from three cars. I have no idea what is happening. Just take a look on them. Back to Las Vegas. I order a pork and rice with grilled pork for my evening meal. Look at this, is it delicious? I am gonna eat now. Before leave the restaurant, I see the sign below my feet. It is about warning social distancing in effect because of virus COVID-19 around USA these days. So take one eye on this, protect your health by wearing mask if you want to and keep a distance from crowded people as well. And at midnight, I go to next door, the stage at downtown, just beside my hotel Fremont. People are gathering with music and dance. So funny and exited with people in dancing and wearing sexy clothes. That is amazing. Do you see the sexy woman dancing on the bar over there? Oh my godness. And two females are so sexy with skirt and no bra. That is enough for today. Now I go back hotel for sleep. It is 2 a.m. now. Good night everyone and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you everyone for watching my video. I hope you enjoy and get useful information from my channel. If you like my video, please press subscribe and like my channel for support me. I am John from channel, Travel Around USA June 2022. Thank you you guys and have a good day to you. Number 6. Los Angeles. Hello, welcome back to my video. In this video, I go by car from Las Vegas City to Los Angeles. Here is street view from car driving. The weather is quite hot these days.
as you can see lighting from far away. Maybe it is solar power manufactory. Mountains or hills on two sides, there is beautiful landscape. Rest stop, I order a burger for my lunch and continue the journey. Welcome to Los Angeles. I arrive Los Angeles in evening. So I book a hotel named Ramada for sleep. Room is clean and comfortable. I enjoy staying this hotel. The next morning, I go to Bolsa area to have breakfast. Los Angeles is the largest city in the state of California, the largest city in the western United States, the second largest city in the United States and the capital of light, beautiful scenery, cool weather. 
world famous calendar. According to the pronunciation of the Spanish translation, Los Angeles means city of angels. In the past, this was the breeding ground of the Indians. In 1781, the Spanish colonists built a town here. By 1822, Los Angeles was taken care of by the Mexicans, and in 1846 was returned to the United States. The city was only officially built in 1850. In the middle of the 19th century, thanks to the development of gold mines in California, the Transcontinental Pacific Railway was started construction, creating conditions for the city to develop. During World War II, the United States became rich through the arms trade, and the weapons and ammunition industry flourished. At the beginning of the 20th century, with the construction of a long aqueduct, Los Angeles solved water supply, a serious problem, so it quickly became the largest city along the west coast of the United States. Los Angeles is big but not centralized. The total area of the city is 1,024 square kilometers, including more than 80 surrounding cities and towns with a total area of more than 10,000 square kilometers, a population of more than 7 million people. There is famous noddle soup named PHO. And this is my breakfast. It is so delicious. After leave restaurant, I see a beggar on car park. Next stop. I go to shopping center of Vietnamese called Food Clock Tho in Bolsa. People in the city go to work, go to school or go out all use cars. On average, Every 1.5 people have a car, and over 80% of people have their own car. One can drive by car to the synagogues, restaurants, bookstores, supermarkets. Expressways and access roads to parking lots occupy about 30% of the total area of the city. This dense density makes Los Angeles even more nicknamed the city of cars. Here is history of this place. Asian Garden Mall, better known as Food Clock Tho, is the largest Vietnamese operated mall in the United States and offers a cultural experience like none other. Known as the center and heart of Little Saigon in Westminster, California, it is much more than a commercial space. Conspicuous against its suburban surroundings, it functions as a geographical landmark and a tourist attraction. In the national imagination, it symbolizes the Vietnamese community in the United States. It not only received a visit from a presidential candidate, but will soon be the location for a monument dedicated to the accomplishments of the Vietnamese community since their arrival in the United States in the 1970s. For locals, Phu Loc Tho embodies Vietnamese success, community, and culture. I order special broken rice with grilled pork and vegetable for my lunch. Yeah, it is yummy. This is status known as Grand Prince Hung Dao, was a Vietnamese royal prince, statesman and military commander of Dai Viet military forces during the Tran Dynasty. He commanded the Vietnamese armies that repelled two out of three major Mongol invasions in late 13th century. His multiple victories over the Yuan Dynasty under Kublai Khan is considered amongst the greatest military feats in Vietnamese history. Disneyland. I go to Disneyland in evening, there is amazing fun and crowded people here. Music and people everywhere. Let's join the Disneyland, now. A group of young guys are playing music and funny dance. Boys and girls with their parents are sitting both street to watch the street music show. Disneyland is a theme park in Anaheim, California, which opened in 1955. It is the only one designed and built under the direct supervision of Walt Disney, who came up with the concept of Disneyland after visiting various amusement parks with his daughters in the 1930s and 1940s. Disneyland has a larger cumulative attendance than any other theme park in the world, with 726 million visits since it opened, as of December 2018.
In addition to the attractions, Disneyland provides live entertainment throughout the park. Most of the mentioned entertainment is not offered daily, but only on selected days of the week, or selected periods of the year. End of the day, I go back hotel. Tomorrow I will visit Universal Studio Hollywood. Universal Studio Hollywood. Good morning, today I go to Hollywood Studio. This is a film studio and theme park in the San Fernando Valley area of Los Angeles County, California. About 70% of the studio lies within the unincorporated county island known as Universal City while the rest lies within the city limits of Los Angeles, California. It is one of the oldest and most famous Hollywood film studios still in use. Its official marketing headline is the entertainment capital of LA. It was initially created to offer tours of the real Universal Studios sets and is the first of many full-fledged Universal Studios theme parks located across the world. Hollywood Walk of Fame. It is a historic landmark which consists of more than 2,705 pointed terrazzo and brass stars embedded in the sidewalks along 15 blocks of Hollywood Boulevard and 3 blocks of Vine Street in Hollywood, California. The stars are permanent public monuments to achievement in the entertainment industry, bearing the names of a mix of actors, directors, producers, musicians, theatrical or musical groups, fictional characters, and others. The Walk of Fame is administered by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce who hold the trademark rights and maintained by the self-financing Hollywood Historic Trust. It is a popular tourist attraction, with an estimated 10 million annual visitors in 2010. End of the day. I eat noodle soup for dinner.
Number 5. New York. Arrive New York in the evening, I have dinner at airport and go sightseeing the city. Hello New York. I arrive New York at date July 4, 2022. National Day of United States. Yellow taxi, old and dark red building that I watch on television but now I see them in real. It takes 40 minutes from airport to city. Let's discover the history of this city. New York, often called New York City, NYC, to distinguish it from the state of New York, is the most populous city in the United States. With a 2020 population of 8,804,190 distributed over 300.46 square miles, 778.2 square kilometers, New York City is also the most densely populated major city in the United States. Look mediated at the southern tip of the state of New York, the city is the center of the New York metropolitan area, the largest metropolitan area in the world by urban landmass. With over 20.1 million people in its metropolitan statistical area and 23.5 million in its combined statistical area as of 2020, New York is one of the world's most populous megacities. New York City is a global cultural, financial, and center with a significant influence on commerce, entertainment, research, technology, education, politics, tourism, dining, art, fashion, and sports. New York is the most photographed city in the world. Home to the headquarters of the United Nations, New York is an important center for international diplomacy, an established safe haven for global investors and is sometimes described as the capital of the world. Here is my hotel. It is Continental Hotel, located in downtown near Times Square, New York. View outside from hotel window. The street is crowded people and narrow. As you can see New York in July 2022. Times Square. This is a major commercial intersection, tourist destination, entertainment hub, and neighborhood in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. It is formed by the junction of Broadway, 7th Avenue, and 42nd Street. Together with adjacent Duffy Square, Times Square is a bowtie-shaped space five blocks long between 42nd and 47th Streets. 
brightly lit at all hours by numerous billboards and advertisements as well as businesses offering 24-7 service, Times Square is sometimes referred to as the crossroads of the world, the center of the universe, the heart of the Great White Way, and the heart of the world. One of the world's busiest pedestrian areas, it is also the hub of the Broadway Theatre District and the major center of the world's entertainment industry. Times Square is one of the world's most visited tourist attractions, drawing an estimated 50 million visitors annually. Approximately 330,000 people pass through Times Square daily, many of them tourists, while over 460,000 pedestrians walk through Times Square on its busiest days. The Times Square 42nd Street station has consistently ranked as the busiest in the New York City subway system, transporting more than 200,000 passengers daily. Happy Independence Day, America! On the 4th of July, the United States observes a federal holiday in honor of the Declaration of Independence. I go to Times Square and date July 4th, National Day of USA. This is unique experience for standing at this place. On next day, I go to visit Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is a colossal neoclassical sculpture on Liberty Island in New York Harbor in New York City, in the United States. The copper statue, a gift from the people of France to the people of the United States, was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi and its metal framework was built by Gustave Eiffel. The statue was dedicated on October 28, 1886. The statue is a figure of Libertas, a robed Roman liberty goddess. She holds a torch above her head with her right hand, and in her left hand carries a tabula ansida inscribed July form Clux V, July 4, 1776 in Roman numerals, the date of the US Declaration of Independence. A broken shackle and chain lie at her feet as she walks forward, commemorating the recent national abolition of slavery. 7. After its dedication, this statue became an icon of freedom and of the United States, seen as a symbol of welcome to immigrants arriving by sea.
The statue was administered by the United States Lighthouse Board until 1901 and then by the Department of War. Since 1933 it has been maintained by the National Park Service as part of the Statue of Liberty National Monument, and is a major tourist attraction. Public access to the balcony around the torch has been barred since 1916. Next stop, I go to Charging Bull. Referred to as the Bull of Wall Street or the Bowling Green Bull, is a bronze sculpture that stands on Broadway just north of Bowling Green in the Financial District of Manhattan in New York City. The 7,100 pound, 3,200 kilograms, bronze sculpture, standing 11 feet, 3.4 meters, tall and measuring 16 feet, 4.9 meters, long, depicts a bull, the symbol of aggressive financial optimism and prosperity. Charging Bull is a popular tourist destination that draws thousands of people a day, symbolizing Wall Street and the financial district. I've taken queue line to have a chance of taking photo with this Charging Bull. There are two lines, one for the back bull and one for the front bull. The meaning taking back bull, people will touch the balls of bull. They believe it will bring lucky. And photo is taken in front of bull. Hand touch the horn, it will bring angry to headbutt difficulty leading to success.
The next stop Ground Zero. Ground Zero is also known as the 9-11 Memorial. Nearly 18 years ago, on September 11, 2001, a series of terrible terrorist attacks took place, the World Trade Center building. WTC fell to ash when it was deliberately hit by two Boeing planes in a row. More than 3,000 innocent victims died. The United States fell into a crisis when economic losses reached 3 trillion US dollars. Later, the US government renovated and built two artificial waterfalls right on the foundation of the tragic WTC Twin Tower building the day. The place where the two waterfalls are located is called Ground Zero. The waterfall does not have white foam, nor does it have splendid lights like in other places. Instead, the waterfall sunk deep underground, the water continuously rolled down to the ground as if to forget the painful memories in the minds of those who stayed. Ground Zero attracts others not because of its special architecture. Visitors to this place all learn profound lessons from the tragedies of the past, which is the meaning of this memorial. Ground Zero will always remain in American hearts as a reminder of the loss of innocent lives in the modern history of the world. The New York Stock Exchange Building This is the largest stock exchange in the world, and billions of dollars worth of stocks are traded there every day. The financial district that surrounds it is the heart of New York City's importance. But due to tight security measures following the September 11, 2001, terrorist attacks, which occurred only a short distance from the New York Stock Exchange NYSE, the building is no longer open to the public. I recommend you should visit and take photo when you travel to New York. I can view the New York Stock Exchange building from the outside at Broad and Wall Streets. Its famous facade and six Corinthian marble columns beneath a sculpture called Intact Protection of the Works of Man is often covered with a giant American flag. You can get there by subway 2, 3, 4 or 5 to Wall Street or N, R or W to Rector Street. The Trump Building in New York, USA. The tower is clad entirely in bronze black glass, located on the east side of Manhattan. The tower is 72 stories high, designed by architect Costas Condylis and completed in 2001. The building was also chosen as the setting for the movie Before the Devil Knows You're Dead in 2007. Now I decide to take train underground from Manhattan to Times Square, from there I can walk back to the Hotel Intercontinental. So I buy Metro card ticker for one way. Next destination, Goodbye New York.
I take a fly to Niagara Falls. Thank you for watching my video. See you in next video. If you like my channel, please sub Kerbal and press like for support me. Number 3. Washington DC. DC in Washington DC stands for District of Columbia. It is so named in honor of the famous explorer Christopher Columbus. The city is named after President George Washington. American presidents from John Quincy Adams to Herbert Hoover keeping alligators as pets in the White House is a famous anecdote that most visitors when coming here have heard. But according to Snopes, that may just be a rumor and so far there is no solid evidence for this story. But another interesting fact at the White House is that President Jimmy Carter enjoyed watching movies during his time in office. So far, the 39th president has not been able to beat the 39th president's record of watching 480 movies at the White House cinema. The Washington Monument is the tallest monument in the world, with a height of more than 169 meters. It also houses the Spy Museum, pictured, and is one of the few museums in the world on this subject. This is also one of the destinations that attracted tourists before COVID-19, with more than 600,000 people visiting each year. Founded in 1790, Washington is the only city in the United States that does not depend on any state and was planned from the beginning, so it has developed very orderly and rationally. In 1791, President Washington entrusted the design of this city to Pierre Charles L'Enfant, a French engineer, architect and urban planner. George Washington wanted Pierre L'Enfant to create the city with a vision of 50 to 100 years. L'Enfant's plan is based on a Baroque model. Wide streets converge at rectangular and circular points, creating a landscape with lots of empty space. To date, the federal government is planning a third development of Washington, D.C., called Extending the Legacy. The plan, proposed by the National Capital Planning Commission NCPC, was launched in 1997 after a public consultation in 1996. Washington, D.C. has very strict regulations. Article 1 of the U.S. Constitution has specified since 1790 that the capital must be square, with each side 16 kilometers. City managers from that time placed concrete pillars, each 1.6 kilometers apart, to mark the capital, the world, some of which are still standing. People call Washington a dwarf city, because there are no skyscrapers like New York City, Chicago, Philadelphia, San Francisco or many other big cities. President of the United States Thomas Jefferson, 1801-1809, always dreamed of Washington as the Paris of the Americans, Lorais, convenient, wide and bright streets. After the 12-story Cairo apartment building was built in 1899, the U.S. Congress passed the Heights of Buildings Act of 1910, which declared no buildings allowed to build higher than the U.S. Capitol, 88 meters high. I visited the Lincoln Memorial and surrounding attractions. The Lincoln Memorial is one of the most iconic images of Washington, D.C. Enjoy the following photos of the stunning structure with its 7-foot diameter column spanning 44 feet. Architect Henry Bacon designed the monument in a style similar to a Greek temple. Abraham Lincoln was an inspirational leader and this memorial is one of the most spectacular landmarks in the nation's capital. Reflective pools are lined by walking paths and shaded trees on both sides. Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool was designed by Henry Bacon, and built in 1922 and 1923. It was renovated and reopened in 2012.
Black Wall, Washington, D.C. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial stands as a symbol of America's honor and recognition of the men and women who served and sacrificed their lives in the Vietnam War. Inscribed on the black granite walls are the names of more than 58,000 men and women who gave their lives or remain missing. The memorial is dedicated to honor the courage, sacrifice and devotion to duty and country of all who answered the call to serve during one of the most divisive wars in U.S. history. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund Incorporated is the non-profit organization authorized by Congress in 1980 to fund and build the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. The organization sought a tangible symbol of recognition from the American people for those who served in the war. By separating the issue of individuals serving in the military during the Vietnam era and U.S. policy carried out there, VVMF began a process of national healing. The memorial was dedicated on November 13, 1982 and attracts nearly 5 million visitors each year. The United States Capitol, often called the Capitol or the Capitol Building, is the meeting place of the United States Congress and the seat of the legislative branch of the U.S. federal government. It is located on Capitol Hill at the eastern end of the National Mall in Washington, D.C., though no longer at the geographic center of the federal district. The Capitol forms the origin point for the district's street numbering system and the district's four quadrants. I have very nice experience here. Goodbye guys. Have a nice day. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Number 2. Pennsylvania. I visit Philadelphia City. Philadelphia is the largest city in the state of Pennsylvania, a destination that many tourists choose when coming to this state. Philadelphia is not a city with the most beautiful scenery or attractive tourist attractions, but coming to Philadelphia, you will be surprised and overwhelmed by the beautiful high-rise buildings built in the unique and very unique architectural style. Must visit, Independence Building and Liberty Bell. They are two destinations not to be missed when traveling in Philadelphia. Besides, you will find it interesting to discover the streets bearing many historical marks of America, along with buildings built from a very long time ago. Philadelphia is considered as the boundary between the modern past when it owns many historical events of the United States, giving visitors unforgettable impressions when witnessed in eyes. Independence Hall Independence Hall is located on Chestnut Street, between 5th and 6th Streets. Entrance is through a security screening area on Chestnut Street, just west of 5th Street. It is well known for its historic footprint because it was here that the Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution were discussed and ratified. The building was completed in 1753 as the Pennsylvania State Building, then known as the Province of Pennsylvania. This was Pennsylvania's first state capital. 
It became the official meeting place of the Second Continental Congress from 1775 to 1783 and was also the site of the United States Constitutional Convention in the summer of 1787. The building is part of the National Historic Park, Independence and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1979. Liberty Bell. The State House Bell, now known as the Liberty Bell, rang in the tower of the Pennsylvania State House. Today, we call that building Independence Hall. Speaker of the Pennsylvania Assembly Isaac Norris first ordered a bell for the bell tower in 1751 from the Whitechapel Foundry in London. That bell cracked on the first test ring. Local metalworkers John Pass and John Stowe melted down that bell and cast a new one right here in Philadelphia. It's this bell that would ring to call lawmakers to their meetings and the townspeople together to hear the reading of the news. Benjamin Franklin wrote to Catherine Ray in 1755, Adieu, the bell rings, and I must go among the grave ones and talk politics. It's not until the 1830s that the old state house bell would begin to take on significance as a symbol of liberty. No one recorded when or why the Liberty Bell first cracked, but the most likely explanation is that an era split developed in the early 1840s after nearly 90 years of hard use. According to Pennsylvania Travel Experience, Harrisburg is a destination not to be missed when traveling in Pennsylvania. Coming to Harrisburg, I visit my relative house here. New Jersey State. This state is between New York and Philadelphia. I just want to visit Albert Einstein House that is located at 112 Mercer Street, Princeton, Mercer County, New Jersey. It is just one place visiting so I do not count for my journey from 8 to 1 destination around USA. The house was built sometime before 1876, as it originally stood on Alexander Street where Stuart Hall of the Princeton Theological Seminary was built in that year, also displacing the house now at 108 Mercer. The home is a simple pattern book cottage and not in itself of unusual significance. Albert Einstein, German-born physicist who developed the special and general theories of relativity and won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921 for his explanation of the photoelectric effect. Einstein is generally considered the most influential physicist of the 20th century. Childhood and Education Einstein's parents were secular, middle-class Jews. His father, Hermann Einstein, was originally a featherbed salesman and later ran an electrochemical factory with moderate success. His mother, the former Pauline Koch, ran the family household. He had one sister, 
Maria, who went by the name Maja, born two years after Albert. Einstein would write that two wonders deeply affected his early years. The first was his encounter with a compass at age five. He was mystified that invisible forces could deflect the needle. This would lead to a lifelong fascination with invisible forces. The second wonder came at age 12 when he discovered a book of geometry, which he devoured, calling it his sacred little geometry book. Einstein became deeply religious at age 12, even composing several songs in praise of God and chanting religious songs on the way to school. This began to change, however, after he read science books that contradicted his religious beliefs. This challenge to established authority left a deep and lasting impression. At the Lutpold Gymnasium, Einstein often felt out of place and victimized by a Prussian-style educational system that seemed to stifle originality and creativity. One teacher even told him that he would never amount to anything. During that same visit to California, Einstein was asked to appear alongside the comic actor Charlie Chaplin during the Hollywood debut of the film City Lights. When they were mobbed by thousands, Chaplin remarked, The people applaud me because everybody understands me, and they applaud you because no one understands you. Einstein asked Chaplin, what does it all mean? Chaplin replied, nothing. Number 1. Houston, Texas. Hello everyone, welcome back my video. After comeback Washington DC from Princeton, Albert Einstein House. I take a fly from Washington DC to Houston, Texas. This is my last destination travel around USA 2022. Houston is the most populous city in Texas, the fourth most populous city in the United States, the most populous city in the southern United States, and the sixth most populous in North America, with a population of 2,304,580 in 2020. Houston is the southeast anchor of the greater mega region known as the Texas Triangle. In Houston, I go fishing, catch blue crab and go sightseeing as Kima Boardwalk look like Disneyland but small downsized. As you see, I catch many crabs and have a super nice meal. At night, I go for a local entertainment space called Kima Boardwalks. A lot of people here are happy and excited. So do I. Next day, I go to visit NASA Space Center. It took about 4 hours at this place. NASA Space Center. NASA was established in 1958, succeeding the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics NACA, to give the US space development effort a distinctly civilian orientation, emphasizing peaceful applications in space science. The agency is also responsible for the Launch Services Program, which provides oversight of launch operations and countdown management for uncrewed NASA launches. Since its establishment, most American space exploration efforts have been led by NASA, including the Apollo Moon Landing Missions, the Skylab Space Station, and later the Space Shuttle. NASA is supporting the International Space Station and is overseeing the development of the Orion spacecraft, the Space Launch System, commercial crew vehicles, and the planned Lunar Gateway Space Station. I take a tour for Visit NASA. This is unique experience. In the end, I must say everything is bigger in Texas. From road to park, from outer space to earth, from mind to heart. Thank you for watching my video and hope you enjoy it. Have a good day guys. You can leave your thing, share with me. All nice comments are welcomed.
Which destination do you like most? From 8 to 1? I am John from Channel Travel Around USA June 2022. Thank you much. See you around. Goodbye.